Now starting kindy, it can be scary for a toddler. So we are chatting today about preparing our kids for preschool. Joining us today on the Anmum Pedia Pro 3 Coffee Group is Harriet O'Sullivan from ABC Best Start and parenting coach Dave Atkinson. Good morning to you both. Hi. Good morning. Let's start with you, Harriet. Um, let's start with choosing a kindy. What mm. are the best questions that parents should be asking? Um, I think it's all really individual. Um, so I think as a parent, you've really got to think about what it is that you want from the space mm -hmm. and what it is that you really value. Do you want them to be outside? Do you want them to be exposed to all those different opportunities? Um, and then I think going to visit is just paramount um, because you get a really good feeling for when you're in that place. Um, you can ask lots of things around their philosophy. Every centre or kindergarten would have a philosophy and each one is really, really different. Mm -hmm. um, so you can ask what they really value and see if it matches what you really value. Um, I think obviously there's lots around um, convenience and when they're open and all that kind of thing. But actually, I think it's really about the place and the feeling that you get. Yes, it's walking um, in there and that vibe that you get off everyone, isn't mm -hmm. it? Uh, because mm -hmm. sometimes with the philosophy, that it can be a lot of words. Yes, exactly. <laughs> that's, that's yeah. Just the words. Yeah. Um, Dave, how do we introduce the idea of preschool? Well, I'm actually right in the thick of it. I've got a two and a half year old. How's so, it going? <laughs> well, you know, two and a half year old, he is the love of my life, but gosh, he is uh, a little force to be reckoned with. <laughs> so I'm listening actually going, okay, what do I need to consider? So um, obviously it's about change for me. And yeah. my little two and a half year old, you know, he's he's having to learn a lot of change as he's growing up. Mm. Now, at the moment, we're trying to work on his bedtime routine. At the yeah. moment, he wants 10 <laughs> stories. He wants 10 stories, 10 songs. So I'm trying to normalise the fact that, you know, tonight, we're going to have one story and one song, and I'm not going to demonstrate what <laughs> yeah. that song is like. So I, I, well, I'm really lucky at the parenting place. We have family coaches, and so I'm mm. talking to them as well about what should I be considering. And one thing they said to me is um, normalise it. So rather than making it a really big deal, yeah. you know, you're about to go to kindy and kind of make it a big deal, just normalise it. You know, when you're three, we're going to start going to kindergarten and, um, you know, maybe get some uh, library books out. That Library books, that's one of the mm. things they recommended. Mm. So um, find a book about starting kindy, talk it through with him, mm. and, and make it a, a casual and, and exciting thing. So mm. I'm going to be attempting that at some point soon. Excellent. I'm yeah. um, Harry. You must see a lot of nervous children yeah. come through. So what can the parents do to reassure them? Yeah, I think just like Dave was saying, it's really normalising it. It's creating those positive associations. So if you talk about it in a positive way, then hopefully they will begin to view it in that way as well. Um, just like when you are choosing the place to go, you've been to visit having those visits again and being there with them and also telling and saying with your children it's okay to be nervous mm -hmm. actually kind of labeling and saying we're mm -hmm. all right here you know everybody gets nervous and it's something they can go through and when you're in on that first visit if they are kind of really clingy again that's okay don't force it before they're ready mm -hmm. because if you give them that little bit of time and space then they're probably likely to to kind of start to venture out and they go kind of a few metres away from you and then by kind of the end of the visit they're off on the other side of the playground having a great time. It's funny isn't it because we mm. do seem to make it a big deal don't we? Mm. Go, You're going to kindy, it's going to mm. be so exciting. Um, Dave, what benefits do you think kindy has for child development? Yeah, I mean obviously for, there are different benefits mm. and for a lot of parents it's about um, socialising. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the evidence says that socialising for kids is best at about three in yeah. a kindergarten situation before then they need a lot of parental supervision. But um, I think the main benefit for kindergarten is actually uh, about helping the parents because you know it, it's, we live a busy life mm -hmm. and it's hard to actually just stay afloat you know especially if you're living <laughs> in an area like Auckland so for parents it gives them a chance to have a breather maybe yeah. good for their mental health and they get that stimulating play the kids get to do all the cool yeah. stuff yeah, yeah, yeah totally and it ties that, them out yeah, yeah. Bessie play in the mud yeah. in the sand all the painting in the mud yeah. exactly <laughs> and we've got a question from our viewer here Rebecca Kim mm. who wants to take this one do you want to take I'll, I'll read it to you and can see who takes it mm -hmm. what about all of the different germs at kindy how can we keep our child happy healthy. Mm. Actually, Harriet, maybe that's one for you. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's something we get asked probably by every parent that walks in the door. It's something that's really at the forefront of their minds, which is fair enough. I think, realistically, it is something that happens, and especially when you first start in a new centre, even as a teacher, when you start in a new centre or a new kindergarten, you pick up all those germs, but you kind of begin to build up that immunity. I think definitely we would encourage parents to, if their children aren't well, to keep them at home. We need to be able to break the cycle. Obviously, if you're bringing them in and they're not really great, then that's going to pass it on and you're just going to be ill again in another two weeks because you kind of brought back too soon. Um, but I think also um, finding a place to be outside, being outside and being active is such a fantastic way to, to build up that immunity, get in the dirt, get in the mud um, and kind of be exposed to everything. When, you're, when you stay inside and you've got the recycled air, 
um, it's a lot harder to kind of right, yeah. get rid of those germs, I suppose. Get out in the fresh mm. air, it is a good thing. Thank Definitely. you both so much for joining us today. Uh, great advice as always. Coffee Group is brought to you by Anmonpedia Pro 3, the only toddler milk with no added sugars. Now, if you have any worries that you'd like addressed by our parenting panel, uh, you can message us on the cafe Facebook page. Now, one contributor is going to win this cool ebook from Anmum that allows you to record your voice Frankie reading the, frightened frog. the story. <laughs> Frankie the Frog. We've never got past Frankie the Frightened Frog. We should read the rest one day. And congratulations to Rebecca Kitt. Thank you for all your questions, and your ebook is on its way.